Good Friday, everyone. I'm meteorologist Dave Snyder at the National Weather Service with Alaska statewide weather. Low pressure sitting across the northern and eastern Gulf of Alaska at 996 millibars. That's bringing a frontal boundary into southeastern Alaska. Rainfall there has been hit and miss in some cases. Earlier this afternoon, we're seeing some showers around Haines and Skagway and also across the Copper River Basin. A few across the upper Yukon Valley into the Yukon Territory itself of western Canada. A trough of low pressure there stretching farther into the northern provinces with another trough rotating around the northwestern side of the low, coming across the middle Yukon Valley and stretching across the Seward Peninsula and Kotzebue Sound. Light snow is falling across the Arctic coast with a new storm gearing up across the central and western Bering Sea as that spreads eastward over the course of the weekend. It may bring some stronger winds and higher surf to the yukon Kuskokwim Delta and the west coast of Alaska. Tonight's forecast includes the low pressing eastward as we head into the next 24 hours. The wind should pick up from a south and westerly direction across the YK Delta, Norton Sound, and the Seward Peninsula. In fact, some areas may see a little bit of rain and snow across the lower terrain. Warmer air is trying to move across the northern Pacific. That warmer air will likely stay across the Gulf as we head through the weekend. Low pressure continues to sit across the northern Gulf with rainfall across southeast and mixture of rain and snow across the eastern parts of the interior with high pressure sitting across the Beaufort Sea Coast. That pushes eastward a little bit more on Saturday, making more room for the Bering Sea Low at 976 millibars there and located across the Gulf of Anna by mid afternoon. South and westerly winds will continue across the west coast, including the Seward Peninsula and Nome. With rain and snow possible there, you'll see a better chance for rain the farther south you go across the YK Delta into the Bristol Bay region. The triple point, where warm and cold air is colliding and overrunning, will be heading for Kodiak. Look for the winds and rainfall to pick up there through the afternoon and evening hours, and more of a scattering, drizzle, and fog situation across most of the Bering Sea. By Sunday, the storm is recirculating somewhat and will refocus its efforts on St. Matthew and the central Aleutians uh, all the way down with a cold front across the North Pacific. Trough of low pressure will set up across the eastern parts of Prince William Sound into the eastern interior. With that, uh, periods of rain and snow showers should be expected across the Copper River Basin and for areas around Talkeetna and points east. Look for areas southward into the south-central regions of the Kenai Peninsula and Kodiak Island, as well as Bristol Bay to be dealing with rain with a new storm working up from along the Pacific Northwest Coast toward Haida Gwaii, that at 996 millibars. With Alaska Statewide Weather, I'm meteorologist Dave Snyder.